Ever wondered how the Nothosaurus, a prehistoric marine reptile, used its limbs to swim through the vast oceans? Let's dive into the Mesozoic era, where these fascinating creatures roamed the seas. The Nothosaurus, a member of the Sauropteropterygian family, was a unique aquatic predator, known for its distinct limb structure. Unlike many marine creatures, the Nothosaurus had four paddle-like limbs, each comprising elongated digits connected by webbing. This structure was complemented by a flat, broad tail that added stability while swimming. The limbs, though similar to those of terrestrial reptiles, were adapted for a life in water. They were robust and muscular, suggesting an impressive swimming prowess. This limb structure, a blend of power and flexibility, was quite uncommon among marine reptiles of that time. It suggests that the Nothosaurus had a unique way of propelling itself through water, perhaps different from most of its contemporaries. So the Nothosaurus had a unique limb structure, but how did it utilize these limbs to swim? Let's dive a little deeper into the Nothosaurus's limb structure. Nothosaurus, a marine reptile from the Triassic period, boasted a unique limb arrangement that was perfectly suited to its aquatic lifestyle. Its forelimbs and hindlimbs were equipped with elongated fingers, not unlike the oars of a boat. These fingers were densely packed with powerful muscles, providing the strength necessary for propulsion through water. In addition to this, the Nothosaurus had specialized joints that allowed for a broad range of motion. These joints worked in harmony with the muscles and fingers, facilitating efficient movement and impressive maneuverability. Imagine a swimmer with flippers, but with the added benefit of being able to flex and angle those flippers for maximum propulsion and control. These adaptations weren't just for show, they were vital for the Nothosaurus's survival, that, allowing it to chase down prey and evade predators with ease. With these specialized limbs, the Nothosaurus was perfectly adapted for a life at sea. But how exactly did it swim? The Nothosaurus didn't just paddle around aimlessly, it had a unique swimming technique. Picture this, a marine reptile, streamlined and agile, maneuvering through the prehistoric seas with ease. The Nothosaurus was a master of propulsion, using its limbs as powerful paddles. Its front limbs would strike the water at an angle, pushing it forward, while the hind limbs would follow in a similar motion, providing additional thrust. But the Nothosaurus didn't stop there. It also employed its tail and body in its swimming technique to add extra speed and stability. By undulating its body and tail from side to side, similar to how a modern-day eel swims, the Nothosaurus could achieve bursts of speed, perfect for catching prey or evading predators. This combination of propulsion from the limbs and speed and stability from the body and tail made the Nothosaurus a formidable swimmer in the prehistoric oceans. So, the Nothosaurus was not only a strong swimmer, but it was also an efficient one. In conclusion, the Nothosaurus was a fascinating creature. This ancient reptile, with its unique limb structure and swimming techniques, was a marvel of prehistoric evolution. The limbs of the Nothosaurus, resembling paddles more than traditional legs, were instrumental in how it navigated the waters. These limbs, acting as powerful propellers, enabled the Nothosaurus to maneuver with agility and speed, darting through the water to catch prey or evade predators. Its swimming techniques were equally extraordinary. By flexing its body and tail in a side-to-side -side motion, the Nothosaurus could propel itself forward while its paddle-like limbs provided stability, control, and speed. These features, in tandem, facilitated a lifestyle well-suited to the aquatic environment it inhabited, playing a crucial role in the Nothosaurus's survival for millions of years. So next time you're at the beach, imagine a Nothosaurus swimming past with its powerful limbs, perfectly adapted for life in the sea.